Hey, I'm Jason, and welcome back to In The Lab for season two. We had so much fun breaking stuff and doing some really wild experiments in the last season. We went back to the very beginning and took a look at the first video we shot, the M24 failure test. We set up our 1750 newton meter fixture power tool, and I broke this bolt at 100% speed on this thing. So, but looking back at it, I realized that there's even more information that we can look at from the high speed film of this bolt breaking. So we're gonna break down the different stages of tightening up until the target torque and beyond until we break this thing again. And we're really gonna be able to look at in detail the different stages of that assembly. So we're gonna break a really big bolt with a really big torque tool. Let's get to work. So the first step is to take this to the typical installation torque for an M24 10.9 bolt, which is 935 newton meters. Let's go. All right, that was 935 newton meters. We're still in the linear elastic zone of the tightening. The bolt looks straight from here, but we're gonna back it all the way out to inspect it and make an angle measurement. So the lines look straight. Um, we can check this with our angle gauge, but the first thing I'm gonna do is check this against a new bolt and look for yielding to occur between the threads. And this is a good trick if you don't have a thread gauge with you, you can use another bolt, one that hasn't been tightened before, and mesh the threads together and see if there's any permanent deformation. Looks pretty good. Let's check it with the angle gauge. Yep, we have zero degrees of deflection. So let's take it up another 60 degrees past yield, see what we can measure. Okay, so we took a look at the torque versus angle tightening curve and we found this bolt definitely went into yield. I can't see any twisting of these lines. It looks straight on and I can't even make a measurement with my angle gauge. But what we can pick up is that this bolt has been uh, yielded in tension. And so if we look at the zone here where the threads are engaged from about this spot here, the threads are gonna be pretty uniform. Where this bolt is gonna yield in tension is a few threads beyond that first engaged thread. So it's gonna, it's gonna yield in this range right here. And you can check for that by using an unyielded bolt as a thread gauge. It should mesh up perfectly here, but as you move the bolt up like this, you're gonna pick up a spot where the bolt threads no longer mesh the bolt threads stop meshing right there. That tells me that right in that spot that we've over tightened this bolt and taken it well beyond its elastic limit. All right, let's take it all the way and break this thing. <laughs> so there we have it, another broken bolt, and we learned a little more this time. We took it right to the spec torque of 935. The bolt stayed in the linear elastic zone. We didn't see any twisting or stretching of the bolt. We took it past yield, and we started to see a little bit of permanent deformation, and we used the bolt to measure that. Um, and then we took it 720 degrees past there, and that was just enough to snap this bolt in half at 1,450 newton meters. So at the end of the day, we really wanted to break this down in more detail because these are the steps that are gonna help build a high quality bolted joint in an assembly operation. And having good quality bolted joints is what we're all about. All right, thanks for watching.